27th of December 2020. We thank you, Lord, for the peaceful nations. this occasion in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior Amen let's put our hands together to the glory of God ladies and gentlemen this is a special moment of Thanksgiving by the new patriotic party to thank God for how far he has brought us. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, once again. It's a moment of thanksgiving. You have to be happy with yourself. You have to be happy. You have to thank God for all that he has done and continue to do for us. At this juncture, we invite the national chairman of the new patriotic party. National chairman of the new patriotic party. To come and give us the reason for why we are here. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you very much. Mr. President, you and your spouse, the First Lady, Your Excellency, the Vice President, and your spouse, the Second Lady, the Chief of Staff, the Chairman, that the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Aaron Professor Quay. All those on the days are stand to protocol. And I also wish to mention Your Excellencies, the ambassadors who are here, commissioners who are also here, and the eminent clergy who happen to join us for this evening, the national executive of our party, more particularly the general secretary and all others i wish to greet you all for this afternoon i want to say that we've invited all of us here including ourselves for this afternoon to say thank you to god thank you to the lord who has made it possible first of all for Army memorial the president of the republic now even when he was a candidate has said that the battle is the Lord and the party has adopted it. And indeed, it has been a well-fought battle and a deserving victory. For that matter, the national executive of the party has invited all of you here. Those who are here, those who are in their houses and watching, we want you all to join us in thanking the Lord. Just as has been said here, that so far, He's brought us this far, Ebenezer. And we thank him, we worship him, we continue to, be to introduce to you in this gathering our men and women of God to lead us in this special service as we glorify the Lord in the highest. As a president, I have your permission to introduce the most reverend Dr. Justice Ofei Akrofi is a former Anglican Archbishop 
for West Africa. Let's put our hands together, ladies and gentlemen. The Reverend Victor Kusibuating is the head pastor of Power Chapel International. The Reverend Frimpon Manso is the general superintendent of the Assemblies of God International. Please put your hands together for Reverend Frimpon Manso. The Apostle Professor Opoku Onyina, he is a immediate past chairman of the Church of Pentecost International. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together once again for Professor Opoku Onyina. Reverend Joyce Ai is the Minister of God, Salt and Light Ministries. Dr. Paul Opoku Mensa is also a Reverend Minister of God, Salt and Light Ministries. Bishop Etrud Kwabena Apia is Miracle House, United States of America. The Reverend Ajua Sa is the Holistic Special Prayer Ministry and Power Tower. Apostle Stephen Ousu Jackson is a chairman of CPIC. Prophet Ousu Bempa is also in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, Prophet Elisha Salifu Amwako has also joined us. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. To the glory of God, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, the men and women of God who is leading us, who are leading us in today's service of thanksgiving. At this stage, I would hand over to the Winneba Youth Choir to give us a hymn. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Can we all rise and be on our feet? The glory, great things he has done. So love he the world.
please be seated. Mr. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the men and women of God who are leading the service are all seated, and I think it's important that they are introduced before we set off with the real service. Pastor Henry Enim Bwedu is the head pastor of Sampa Prayer Tower. Let's give it up to him. Reverend Cyril Benedict Krapp is Chazak Chapel International. Prophet Elisha Nana Osei is Trinity Baptist Church. The Reverend Oba Ekia is representing the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Give it up for her, ladies and gentlemen. Pastor Nana Kofi Nimako is also Seventh Day Adventist Church. Pastor Titi Okran is the president of the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Let's give him another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. The Reverend Bishop George S. Hamilton is the General Secretary, United Prayer Network. Prophet Theophilus Nelson is the MPP Prayer Network. Apostle David Bonifo is General Overseer, Excellence Ministries International. We shall proceed by calling on the General Secretary of the MPP, Mr. John Buedu, to give us the first Bible reading. Mr. John Buedu, a round of applause for him, please. The first reading for today is taken from Psalm 9, verses 1 to 11. I'm reading from the New International Version. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of your name, O Most High. My enemies turn back. They stumble and perish before you. For you have, have held my rights and my cause. Sitting enthroned as the righteous judge, you have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. Endless ruin has overtaken my enemies. You have uprooted their cities. Even the memory of them has perished. The law reigns forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He rules the world in righteousness and judges the people with equity. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed and strong gold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Sing the praises of the Lord enthroned in Zion. Proclaim among nations what he has done. This is the first reading. Thank you very much. We are rising to sing the hymn Methodist hymn book number 10. Harmonious Choral is going to lead us. 
Now thank we all our God. Can we all rise once again? On the program, we shall call on National Treasure Kwabna Abankwa Yeboa to give us the second Bible reading. Yebetun sa Afre National Treasure Kwabna Abankwa Yeboa na wadi yakin kai seme tosumi yunono abrei. Our second reading is taken from 1 Samuel 7, verses 12 to 17, and 1 Samuel 17, 46b, 47. Let us hear the word of the Lord. Then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mizpah and Shem, and named it Ebenezer, saying, Thus far the Lord has helped us. So the Philistines were subdued, and they did not come any more within the border of Israel. And the hand of the Lord was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel. The cities which the Philistines had taken from Israel restored to Israel from Ekron even to Gath 
And Israel delivered their territories from the hands of the Philistines. So there, were, there was peace between Israel and the Amorites. Now Samuel judged Israel all the days of his life. He used to go annually on circuit to Bethel and Gilgal and Mizpah. And he judged Israel in all these places. Then his return was to Ramah, for his house was there. And there he judged, the Israel, he judged Israel and built the altar of the Lord. 1 Samuel 17, 46b, 47. And I will give the dead bodies of the army of the Philistines this day to the birds of the sky and the wild beasts of the earth, and that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel, and that all this assembly gathered may know that the Lord does not deliver by sword or by spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. Amen. Tell you one sitting beside you says the battle is the Lord's. Thank you very much. Mr. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to the glory of God, we invite the Winnipeg Youth Choir to lead us in another hymn now. Thank you very much, Winneba Youth Choir. We shall proceed by inviting Honorable Frema Opari Osei, Chief of Staff, to give us the gospel reading. A round of applause for her, please.
The gospel reading is taken from the gospel of St. Luke, chapter 2, verse 13 to 40. I'm reading from the King James Version. And Joseph and his mother marveled at the, those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Panel, of the tribe of Asher. She was a great, of great age, and she had lived with an husband seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow of about four score and four years, which had departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers day and night. And she, coming in that instant, gave thanks likewise unto the Lord, and spake of him to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. And when they had performed all things, according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew and was strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Let's put our hands together for the Lord and gentlemen.
read Zachariah chapter 4, verse 7 to 8. I will read the catcher as the Luba Bessie. One son had to fear if I pay. Nanua Suna a baby. And she will read the catcher and people are my new crew. And I'm a papa not to say one on the dinner sassy. And she will know one what any baby. And to me, Papa Bawumia, me, my main chief of staff. Oh, any of you are my new coin, I'm on my Kaya Koman Tia. Now, we are doing what to me, the baby, yeah, the two brethren, so I want to get to where I be here. Amen. Not to me, no me. Me, but of way. Nane, would I my Koman Sua Kessa?